my Pokemon cards. A small part of my huge, somewhat huge, Nintendo collection. Nintendo collection. Yeah. My controllers. Oops. Oh, I knocked over Pokemon cards. Controllers. DS's. I have so many DS's. So many. More controllers. Because. Cases. Um, case, case, case. It must be at least my most prize possessions. It took me a while to get here, but this is my Nintendo collection. <laughs> so where do I even start? There's so much stuff. Okay. So these are two DSs. Uh, these aren't mine two DSs, but these are getting pictures of two DSs. They allow me to use them for the video because they knew I was going to make an Nintendo collection video. So they allowed me to make them. I uh, used these for the video. So thank you, you guys. I don't know where you are, but thank you. And then there's. Oh, wait. If I'm doing two DSs. I might as well do my 3DS because. My 3DS, it's a little dirty because it's a little on the old side of life, but it's the Galaxy 3DS. This actually isn't my first 3DS. I had a red 3DS, actually when the 3DS was new, I actually had a red 3DS, but then I had that one for a long time, and then my brother Christopher uh, spilled milk on it, and it still worked for a little while after that, but slowly but surely it started to die. And then I had a um, Super Mario... Uh, Mario and Luigi Dream Team 3DS, and that one got stolen. So, um, yeah, that's kind of sad. It got stolen. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it got stolen. I also, I, have to, I also have Pokemon in there. I have, it was one of the reboots. I don't really remember which one it was. It was one of the remakes, I mean. Um, but I had a Pokemon game in there, and that was, I think it was, actually, it was the, the water one. <laughs> It was a uh, Pokemon Omega. Oh, it was, it was. I think it was either it was either Omega Ruby or Alpha Sapphire. I don't really remember. I think it was actually I think it was Alpha Sapphire though, because rubies are red. No, Alpha Sapphire is blue. Yeah, it was Alpha Sapphire, and uh, my three got stolen. So that was kind of sad. Literally, it was so crazy because my brother Cameron, you have it to where when you're friends on the 3DS, you can see when each other are active. Pretty good at the Switch. And it's sad that my 3DS was active, someone was playing a game, and I don't even think I actually had the game that they were playing. So that was proof that, yeah, okay, my 3DS was stolen by someone because they were playing a game that I didn't have. Um, so yeah, that was a little sad, but I got more 3DS after that, and then I had like, the great 3DS when the yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> I had the gray 3DS, and then that one died, and then I have this purple one, the Goxy one, which I think this one is also dead, but it might not be completely dead. I'm not sure, but it's it's something. <laughs> uh, we have these Pokemon cards. I have so many Pokemon cards. I... Let this speak for itself. <laughs> I have, there's so many. And then I have sort of thing that I actually bought Pokemon cards the other day. And then I wasn't even intending on doing an Nintendo collection video, but then I bought these Pokemon cards. I was like, <gasps> actually, I don't even remember really what gave me the idea to do this Nintendo collection. I think it's just the fact that I love Nintendo so much, and like, I just wanted to do a Nintendo collection video. I just, I love Nintendo so much. Like, Nintendo, it's, I'm not really sure what it is. Let's go to cases. Okay, I have these cases, I have three cases. So I have my 3DS case, which went to my original 3DS, because this case is too small for my 3DS XL that I have over there. It doesn't fit. Uh, if I try to put it in, I mean, I might be able to fit it in, but I don't think I'll be able to close it. 
This side, I can't, I don't remember which side is a little bigger than the other one, but I'm going to try, see, I'm trying to put it in here. And, oh, my parents are calling each other. I, see, I did it. I got it in. I closed it and everything. It's, I, that's, I was not expecting that to happen. That I was not expecting to happen. I thought I wasn't going to be able to close it, but apparently I was. I used to have a hard time actually trying to get that one to close, but oh well, who cares? Then I have my original Switch case from when we first got our Switch. It's beat up. I've had this thing for almost two years now, and it looks a hot mess. It looks very bad. It, it looks... I mean, you can tell it's been through some stuff. It's been, it's been through some traveling. <laughs> Whenever we travel, we take this thing with us. We never leave the switch behind. It always comes with us. And we've traveled a lot lately. Well, not lately because of coronavirus. But before coronavirus, we were traveling a lot. We, were, we went to Tennessee. Um, we were just going places and we took this thing everywhere. So, I mean, I kind of understand the fact that it's losing, losing some, you know, plastic, whatever the heck this thing is called. But still and then we have my switch light case um i put my switch light in here it actually i like the switch case it only had one little uh slot for your games which do not worry they're not lost they're just in my room uh, i only have one little slot for your games to go in so uh that was kind of helpful but kind of not helpful it, what the thing was it was kind of helpful because we lost one of the cases uh little game cases before and so having a second one really helped us because now we have two and we have a lot of games. We've gotten a lot of more games since we first got the Switch. So having two card case game things, it actually comes in handy. Um, yeah. Now on to some controllers. I think I might have more. Okay, so we don't really know where the other one's at. We have some Wii remotes. I found some Wii remotes in the basement and I asked my, uh, asked my brother Christopher if he knew where they were, but he doesn't. So. That's a little sad. Anyways, on to put everything into frame now because we have space. Let's, so we have a Wii somewhere and our experiences with Wiis, it's been very interesting. We first got it when we took nine. Um, and the current Wii that we have is technically not the first Wii that we've had. I don't even think it's the second Wii. I don't even think it's the third Wii. I think it might be the fourth Wii. So, um, we've had, maybe, no, maybe it's the third. Yeah, we've had a lot of Wiis. We actually also had a Wii U, but it died. Hopefully we can get a new one soon because it was actually pretty fun. Uh, when we, especially when we didn't have a Wii at that time, it was fun being able to play our Wii games on the Wii U and also being able to play Wii U games on the Wii U because now that we have a Wii, we, I think we still have some Wii U games. I'm not sure, but I know some of them broke and some of them we just lost. Um, but it was nice being able to have that uh, thing because now that we have a Wii, um, we can play Wii games, but if we ever get a, any Wii U games, we can't play any Wii U games on the Wii because the Wii came before the Wii U. So that is a little sad, but it's okay. I don't even think we have any more Wii U games anyway because I remember my sister Emily actually literally snapped Splatoon, the first Splatoon, in half. That was something that was not expecting to happen. Literally when my, I think my, my brothers, they told my dad and I overheard. I was like, what? Like I was so shocked because like that's just a, it's not something that she would do, but who knows, maybe she was, I don't know. We have our Switch Pro Controller uh, and then we have some Switch Joy-Cons. We have had, this is, we now have like a lot of Joy-Cons. I think we have like six Joy-Cons now. We have the gray ones, we have the Splatoon ones, and then we have the original neon ones. And so I was so happy when my parents got me the neon ones because honestly, I was okay with whatever, whichever ones that they got me, but I really wanted the neon switch. And so when I saw, so <laughs> I'll save that story till we get to the switch, but which uh, I think will be, I'll save the best for last here. I'll save the best for last. Okay. We have these, so we have the SNES Retro classic thing, but it's missing, but it's in the house already. We have the controllers, but it's missing. So I bought these controllers just to represent the fact that we actually have one, uh, but it's missing. So we, oh, I almost dropped this. Uh, 
<laughs> yeah, I want to visit the fact that we actually have one, but it's just missing, so I gotta find them somewhere. But don't worry, we will find them. They're somewhere. <sighs> now we can see the last. Do you guys remember when I wanted a switch so bad? It, it was this. It was crazy. I wanted a switch so bad. I was doing everything I possibly could. I remember we were actually looking in my brother's room for any little penny that we could find to save up for a switch. But then we realized, okay, that's gonna take too long. And eventually we got one. And now here we are, we have three. I never thought that I would actually have three switches. This is just insane. I never actually thought I'd have one. And now I have three, so. We have the original Switch itself that came out March 7th, or March 7th or March 3rd, I don't remember. I think actually it's March 3rd. March 3rd of 2017. This thing, it's it's on. This thing, I mean, it's like, it's crazy that I actually have one. I mean, I've had one for almost two years now, but it's so crazy that I have one. Cause it's just, I never thought I would. And now we have my amazing, beautiful switch lights. We have the blue one and then we have the crimson one, which I kind of, the pastel coloring on this thing was a little tricky at first, especially with the crimson one, because on the box, it was extremely red, which is why we bought it. But then when we opened the box and found out that it was more of a pinkish than it was a red, we were a little disappointed, but that's okay because technically it's not mine. Here's the thing, I wanted it so bad because we saw it at the store and at that time we already had this switch light and I saw it and I was like, Dad, if we get this one, you can have the blue one and I'll have this one. And it ended up not working out and honestly I'm okay that it didn't work out that way because it's pink and not blue. I mean, right? I, I mean, I mean, it, look, it's okay, but I was a little disappointed at the fact that it was pink and not red because red is my favorite color. And so when I saw that there was a red switch light, I was so happy. And then I found out that it wasn't red. It was, um, I mean, it's kind of a red. It's more of a pastel red, which is more of a pink. So yeah. And then we have my switch light, which is literally mine. I'm the only person who uses this. Um, I've been playing, I mean, the last game I played on here, I don't really remember what the last game I played on here was, but let's see how much time I spend on my three, on my Switch Lite. What do I play the most? Okay, so I watch, so Taylor is not me watching YouTube, my sister watches YouTube on the Switch a lot. So 960 hours or more. And recently I've been playing a lot of Pokemon. Uh, I actually beat the game a few nights ago and I got really sad because I got really lonely because the only time you can really talk to Hop or Sonya or any of your friends is at the laboratory and they're literally only at the laboratory. So it's a little sad, it got a little lonely. Now I'm the champion so everybody interests me as champion so that's pretty cool. But it was still kind of sad and lonely. Um, <laughs> 125 or more hours on Animal Crossing, which that's nothing compared to some of my friends that I've seen playing Animal Crossing. They have like almost a thousand hours on Animal Crossing, and I'm like, how do you spend that much time on Animal Crossing? But then again, I used to play Animal Crossing all day, every day, but it's just not that way anymore. 320 hours or more on Market Deluxe. Mind you, we've had this thing for almost two years now, and I only have played it for three hours. 320 hours, not three hours. Super Mario Bros. Deluxe, five hours or more. Splatoon 2, one hour or more. The Nintendo Entertainment System, uh, 20 hours or more. Super Nintendo Entertainment System, five hours or more. Sonic Mania, three hours or more. Blades, <laughs> played for a little while. Super Mario Odyssey, played for four hours or more. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, which I love that game. It's, I, I like, I never, I never really liked Zelda, but after playing that game, I love that game. I played that game. <laughs> the time doesn't really show for that game. Four hours or more. Mario Sonic at the Olympic Games demo. Uh, one hour or more. Switch Smash Bros. Ultimate. 105 hours or more. Fortnite. Four hours or more. Sonic Forces. Five hours or more. Asphalt 9. One hour or more. I used to play that game a little bit when we were at our old house. Um, I didn't even have a road house. It was just a long time ago, honestly. Um, yeah, I just, you know, 
I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, I think I might do a little montage, a little like slide. I don't know what I'm gonna do actually. So let's just, let's just see my beautiful Nintendo items here. I love Nintendo, in case you didn't know. Thank you guys for watching this video, my Nintendo collection video. I really wanted to do this video mainly because I just wanted to show you guys that I love Nintendo. <laughs> I literally love Nintendo. Like, Nintendo has been such a big part of my life since I was little. Like, I literally, in 2009, I was little, little, little playing Mario Kart Wii. Um... Even though I was holding the controller the wrong way, I was still playing and I was going backwards, but I was still playing. So, yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys for this video. I'll see you guys in my next video. I have, yeah. Um, bye. <laughs>